Yeah. So sorry we for the technology is later on. Uh hope they are going to be copyright in the end, but let's see. What's new with Apple TV 4K? Here's send it. I'm just gonna do the volume is gonna be way lower on the live stream and I'm gonna put more on my face. What makes Apple TV truly unique is its deep integration uh, so of Apple hardware, software and services. Apple TV is built on the same world class Apple Silicon we put into us. I see unboxed TV. And it was TVO. I don't know why I got it. Giving Apple TV all this power. Power that smart TVs just don't have. Let's you magically transform your living room so you can get in your morning workout with Apple Fitness Plus. Show off your anyone doing that using though? AirPlay. Battle it out on Apple Arcade. And yeah. even sneak in a late night movie with AirPods. The ability to do all of That's those things useful. and so much more is why we've put so much power into Apple TV. And it's why I'm so excited to share with you the next generation of Apple TV 4K. Apple TV 4K is now built with the A12 Bionic, bringing a new level of performance that will be a massive so it's an upgrade to your TV. That Delivering the highest a, visual quality possible has uh, always been core to Apple think, TV. Oh, okay. It already supports right. high dynamic range formats such as Dolby Vision, revealing more realistic colors and greater detail. And with the A12 Bionic, the new Apple TV 4K can now play HDR in high frame rate. This allows video to play more smoothly and appear more lifelike than ever before. Which will be great for fast moving action like sports. We're working with leading providers across the globe as they begin to stream in high frame rate HDR. And it's not just professionally produced programs that will look amazing. For those of you with an iPhone 12 Pro, you can already record in Dolby Vision at 60 frames per second. And to enjoy all these moments in the best quality on the new Apple TV 4K, we've enhanced AirPlay to support high frame rate HDR. We want everything you watch on Apple TV to look amazing, but because every TV settings are different, it's challenging to know if you're getting the best picture. Until now. With our new color balance feature, Apple TV will work with your iPhone and its advanced sensors to improve your TV's picture quality. Your iPhone uses its camera and proximity sensor to guide you to an on-screen target. Color measurements start automatically. Apple TV uses the light sensor in your iPhone to compare your TV's color balance to the industry standard specifications used by cinematographers worldwide. Using this data, this Apple TV will then shit. automatically tailor its video output to compensate for any inaccuracies in your TV's picture settings. So you'll now see much more accurate color without you ever having to adjust your TV. The results can be dramatic, with more natural colors and improved contrast, making oh, yeah, your TV like look better software. than ever. Of course, the way you interact with Apple TV is with the Siri remote. So this year, we completely redesigned it with new functionality <laughs> and controls. It, it starts with a new one-piece aluminum design that fits perfectly in your hand. And with contrasting controls, you can easily shit. find and hit just the button you want. We also have a brand new click pad with five-way navigation for better accuracy. And the entire click pad is touch enabled, preserving the fast directional swipes users well, you like this is And we did I something have an pretty cool with the outer Given it a new circular gesture that turns it into it's a jaw small. control. Perfect for finding just the scene you're looking small. for. We've also made it the only remote you need for your TV. It, it now has a and power see, button that controls your TV's power okay. and another for mute. Jeez. And we've moved the Siri button to the side, just like on your iPhone. The enclosure is made from 100% recycled aluminum. Joining Apple TV. Wait, did you all see this thing? Apple uh, stand up. Apple claims to say that eight metric tons of metal waste because they haven't included a charger. I don't know what number is what, because. The majority of people who are buying an iPhone 12 probably buying the new fast charger, right? I wonder how that model works. Well, we're gonna have to check that out. Absolute best entertainment experience to your home. Back to Tim. Awesome zoom in that one, get out in a sentence. What? Now let's talk about the Mac. There has never been a more exciting time for the Mac. 
We recently announced that we were embarking on a two-year transition to yeah. Apple Silicon, and we're off to an incredible start. Life. The reception to the new MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini with M1 has been off the charts. Wired called M1 a Mac revolution. M1 delivers incredible performance, custom technologies, and revolutionary power efficiency. With a giant leap in performance per watt, every Mac with M1 is transformed into a completely different class of product. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a breakthrough. Our customers agree, as Mac continues to lead the industry in customer satisfaction. And our Mac business has never been stronger. Our M1 products have continued to fuel okay. the Mac's Come incredible Mac growth and 16. now represent the majority of our Mac sales. Today, M1's profound impact on the Mac, Mac continues really as Mac we are about to take another exciting step forward. To tell you more, here's John. Has to be an iMac. If you think they have a full brand you have M1 has been a gigantic leap. I haven't even taken down yet. It has redefined the Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini, shattering expectations of what each of them can do. They've shown how M1 plus Mac OS Big Sur can bring breakthrough performance and power efficiency to the Mac. Users have been absolutely blown away by their responsiveness and amazing battery life. And developers have been busy delivering universal versions of their apps. In fact, there are now thousands of universal apps available that take full advantage of M1. Wait, that's portal, right? I don't know, can you notice? Oh yeah, that's portal, right? Uh, okay, that's like an American version of it, right? Uh, wait, no, I'm not the ball, so I don't care. And, uh, okay, the images. So, this is them, like, it's just inverted. What? Is that how little effort they put in there? Jeez. Incredible from every angle. Okay, now I it's bursting with color from both the front and the back, and it practically disappears when you view it from the side. Let's take a look at its revolutionary design. Ooh, my new form is stunning. Yeah, break my the spectrum there. of vibrant colors, so you can choose the one that fits your okay, own personal good. style. Uh, we wanted it to feel I have light on, and optimistic, as well instantly any space. From the front, iMac is clean and simple, Love with a single sheet of glass covering the entire surface. The softer colors and light gray borders ground the iMac in your environment and allow you to focus on your content. In contrast to the more neutral front, the back is designed to really celebrate color with bold, richly saturated shades. In many places, the back of iMac is the first thing you'll see. Okay, so we walks. created colors that would bring no. a sense of joy to any space. Next, let's check out. Okay, uh, I call in people was help. Okay, new recording. This is only an eye. Wow. Hmm. And generally, the soft is like. Uh, and 
let's go live again. Wow. I'm not live, we are still Christmas. Come on, connect. Okay, so we knew to it again. Yes, I'm not sure. I just got a wide one, you know. I think I'll just take down the rest of audio and audio myself. This is the week for you guys. Ah, uh, my actual viewers though. Wow, oh, this is really sad. Okay, I have connected my screen proper. What are you doing? Yes. And we're going live now. Jeez. Okay. Something's going on, I guess. Uh, okay. It's a more natural viewing experience. And it has a coating with industry leading low reflectivity for greater comfort and readability. IMAX D Design, with its immersive display, is awesome. And we're just getting started. We also pushed every other aspect of the experience forward. First, we've taken IMAX camera, mics, and speakers to a whole new level. And to tell you more, here's now free. We've all been spending more and more time on video calls. So with the new IMAX, it was important to us to enhance the core technologies that keep us connected. Let's start with the camera. IMAX now has a 1080p FaceTime HD camera. Finally, double finally 1080p. For much higher quality video. And with a larger sensor, the camera performs great in low light. The camera is paired with M1, which has Apple's latest image signal processor. Dude, he has Austin Evans body language. To further enhance the image quality with computational video. Dude, Let's Austin take a look Evans. at the processing pipeline. As you use the camera, the ISP goes through a series of steps to analyze and enhance each pixel at over a trillion operations per second. For example, it works with M1's neural engine to make more intelligent exposure and white balance adjustments. I'm so your relation is always just right. This is going to be it bad. utilizes advanced noise reduction algorithms to bring a new level of clarity to your video. And it Yo, uses shut up. to One deliver enhanced dynamic range, bringing more Let's detail go. to bright highlights and dark shadows. This camera will make you look like a rock star. In fact, it's the best camera we've ever put in IMAX. And to complement the camera, we gave IMAX a studio quality 3 mic array. The mics are engineered to reduce feedback from the rest of the system so conversations flow more naturally and you'll interrupt each other less. And beamforming allows these mics to better ignore oh, background noise and focus on your voice, which means you'll come through loud and clear on video calls or when recording an audio track. This is also... Coupled with advanced algorithms, enable IMAX to support spatial audio when playing video with Dolby Atmos. On the beautiful 4.5K Retina display, it's an outstanding movie watching experience. With its dramatic improvements in balance, vocal clarity, and instrument separation, IMAX delivers a remarkably robust and high quality audio experience. Simply put, it's the best sound system ever in a Mac, and you can't wait for you to hear it. Okay, 
Hello. This is it, so trust me, trust me. I cannot hear anything in desktop right now. Somewhere in case. Oh no, really works. Why? I need to get that new microphone. What can you hear? kind of good though so I think I'm gonna keep it wow well, you can hit cooler I can even turn it on hopefully this is better now but I can't turn it in the iPhone so it's just like a microphone mm -hmm. let's see if one is about a one sector no, what? Okay. I think we should have figured this out earlier. Disturb keys and a lock key to instantly lock iMac. Next, there's a magic keyboard with an exciting new feature Touch ID, which comes to the Mac desktop for the first time. Wireless fingerprint data transmission is made possible by a secure processor in the keyboard. It communicates directly with the secure enclave and M1, creating an encrypted channel to protect your fingerprint data from end to end. So whether you're making a purchase with Apple Pay or unlocking your iMac, it's fast, easy, and secure. And Touch ID also works with fast user switching, so you can change to a different user profile with just the touch of a finger. And there's a magic keyboard with Touch ID and a numeric keypad, too. Magic Mouse, loved by iMac users, now features color-matched aluminum. And Magic Trackpad, still by far the industry's best, has a refined shape to match the new keyboard. These new accessories complete the system and bring even more capability to iMac. With a colorful, cutting-edge design, best-in-class features, the power of M1 and Mac OS Big Sur, the new iMac can do it all, dynamically transforming any space into whatever you need it to be. Let's take a look at the many ways iMac can fit into your life. Say hello to the new iMac. You've never seen a computer like this before. Yeah, it's really that thin, but it's not magic. It's the M1 chip, which is kind of magic. And it makes the new iMac fast. 
Like, your apps open instantly fast. Yeah, like, really check that, that text that. while you clean your inbox, while you share that photo, while you stream that show fast. That's fast. It has a 4.5K retina display for colors that pop off the screen. A 1080p camera, so you'll look right in any light. And whether you're talking to one person or a hundred, the mics always focus on your voice. So they hear you, not what's around you. Six speakers and Dolby Atmos means everything you do sounds great. Everything is going well. Matching back. keyboard and mouse. <laughs> and wireless touch ID. Boom, boom, boom. And what happens on your iPhone also happens on your iMac. That's definitely magic. This is the new iMac. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot. It comes in seven colors. This one's basically with iMac. The possibilities are endless. And like all of our products, iMac has been built to minimize its impact on the environment. 100% of the virgin wood fiber in iMac's packaging comes from responsibly managed forests. And iMac has 100% recycled rare earth magnets in the speakers, fan motor, and power connector. And of course, iMac meets Apple's high standards for environmental responsibility in materials, renewable energy, and energy efficiency. So that's the new iMac. With its extraordinary design, powerful performance, and incredible features, it starts at just $12.99 in four colors. And at $14.99, iMac comes in seven colors with these additional features. You can order the new iMac starting April 30th, and it will be available in the second half of May. The new iMac is the first Mac completely redesigned around the revolutionary M1 chip. With a 24-inch, 4.5K Retina display, the best yeah, camera mics and speakers and ever in a Mac, Mac OS Mixer, and Touch ID. iMac is the most personal, trademark. powerful, capable, and simply the most fun it's ever been. We can't wait to see what you do on iMac. And now back to John. The new iMac joins MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini in our incredible family of M1 Macs. And with the new iMac, the strongest lineup of Macs we've ever had gets even better. The new iMac is another huge step forward in our transition to Apple Silicon, and it brings the amazing M1 experience to even more Mac users. But it's not just Mac users who want to get their hands on it. Oh, you are not a good man. You just think it's long enough for you guys. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's not a good man. Oh, I'm starting on it. Also, why are you wearing glasses? Contacts, idiot. Haha, I can't do it at all. Why are you breaking the wall? Is that a my bad girl? No, what do you do? Uh, oh, I can't get it yet. Yeah. What? I thought it was a wall. Oh, you know, I'm the company. I say I want that in the That's right. The M1 chip is not just in the Mac, it's now in iPad Pro. And it's going to blow you away. iPad Pro has always used turbocharged versions of our A series chips to deliver a powerful and responsive experience that's years ahead of anything else. 
M1 continues that momentum by taking it to an entirely new level with a big jump in performance to run powerful apps and drive a high performance ecosystem. For M1 to fit into its incredibly thin and light design requires power efficiency that's way beyond just being better. It has to be amazing and M1 delivers. And because M1 shares the same fundamental architecture of A-series chips, iPad OS is already built to take full advantage of its powerful technology. The next level performance that M1 unlocks on iPad Pro starts with its powerful CPU. Built around the world's fastest CPU core in low power silicon, the eight core design of M1 delivers a whopping 50% jump over the industry leading performance of the previous iPad Pro. What's amazing is that compared to the first generation iPad, this iPad Pro now delivers up to 75 times faster CPU performance. Yeah, it's, it's no wonder too. apps are pushing the limits yeah. of what's possible on iPad. Oh, From blazing yes. performance for vector and raster tools in Affinity Designer, to rendering the most detailed designs with Shaper 3D, to adding mm. complex effects to 4K videos in LumaFusion iPad's expansive display comes bursting to life with M1's amazing graphics performance. The 8-core okay. GPU is in a class of its own, delivering up to 40% faster graphics performance. Again, compared to the first generation wow. iPad, get ready for this. The graphics of this new iPad Pro is now over 1,500 times faster. That's just ridiculous. Well, so painting with watercolors and oils in Adobe oh, Fresco okay. look and feel like the real thing. And you can bring the most intricate AR models into the real world with Jigspace. You can also play the latest games with console quality graphics at super high frame rates. This raw performance, along with the ProMotion display, four speakers, and now support for the latest PlayStation or Xbox game controllers with haptics makes playing games on iPad Pro insanely fun. With this combination of CPU and graphics performance, the new iPad Pro is, yet again, the fastest device of its kind. It's not even close. But it's bigger than that. Because powerful custom technologies like our latest 16-core Apple Neural Engine, advanced image signal processor, and unified high bandwidth memory architecture make iPad Pro more capable than ever. And the industry-leading power efficiency of M1 enables all of that amazing performance along with all-day battery life in the incredibly thin and light design of iPad Pro. The new iPad Pro also allows users to access their content faster than ever with up to two times faster storage. And for our most demanding users, a new two terabyte configuration gives you enormous storage capacity okay. so you can keep up to 60,000 pro raw photos at your fingertips okay. or up to okay. 220 okay. hours of 4k okay. hdr video content with you wherever you go m1 brings much faster connectivity to ipad pro mm -hmm. as well the usb-c port already supports super fast data transfers and now we're adding thunderbolt with USB 4 support as well, making it the fastest, most versatile port ever on an iPad or any other device of its kind. Not only is there four times more bandwidth for wired connections up to 40 gigabits per second, Thunderbolt also opens up a massive ecosystem of high performance accessories like super fast storage, external displays like the Pro Display XDR now at its full 6K resolution and all connected using high performance cables and docks. iPad Pro works perfectly into so Ooh. many more workflows. Now, on a mobile device like iPad Pro, ultra fast wireless connections are absolutely critical. And that's why we've added 5G to iPad Pro. Accessing files, collaborating with colleagues, and backing up data are fundamental when you're on the go. This is huge. Wow. Super fast 5G cellular connections I'm let users be creative it. and productive in the wherever they are. I want to go there. Download to speeds can be as high as 3.5 gigabits per second in ideal conditions. Of course, 5G speeds will vary by carrier and region. In the US, iPad Pro also supports millimeter wave, the high frequency version of 5G. And with this model, iPad Pro can reach up to 4 gigabits per second peak download speeds in ideal conditions. So no matter where your work takes you, you can live stream from wherever you are. This is Aishwarya reporting from San Francisco. First off, I want to congratulate everybody on... And you never have to miss a meeting on your way to work. 
was on mute, sorry. Uh, I want to congratulate... The blazing speeds of 5G allow you to do just about anything, just about anywhere. And there's more. iPad's versatility is further enhanced by its pro cameras. And to tell you more, here's Fiona. That's a big iPad. Customers love taking stunning photos and videos on their iPad. And with powerful apps, these advanced cameras enable so much more, like video capture for mobile journalists and content creators, especially with the built-in studio quality mics on iPad Pro. And with the LiDAR scanner, they paved the way to completely new workflows, like motion tracking with CamTrack AR. Super accurate depth data makes going from green screen to pre-visualization on location I easier than ever. Gonna have and any you can build a final render with now. greater confidence. More head designers and architects visualize their projects with Archi. On site, at full scale, complete with people occlusion, realistic shadows, and real-time lighting. Or to simply bring your imagination to life. Check out this new version of Clips which uses the LiDAR scanner to transform your living room into a magical space for your next video. How fun is that? And with the more powerful ISP and M1, we get Smart HDR3, where the ISP and the neural engine work together to adjust color, contrast, and noise in distinct parts of a photo. And in low light conditions, the ISP and LiDAR scanner quickly and accurately focus images and videos to capture incredible details from almost no light at all. On the front, the True Depth camera instantly and securely unlocks iPad with Face ID and takes portraits on which look amazing on that large display. And now, more than ever, it plays an important role when collaborating with coworkers and connecting with family and friends. So, in the new iPad Pro, we're going to take a huge step forward by updating the True Depth camera system to include an all-new ultra-wide camera designed specifically for iPad. It features a new 12-megapixel sensor with a 122-degree field of view, which enables something really cool. And we call it Center Stage. Center Stage uses the new ultra-wide camera and machine learning to recognize and keep you in the center of the view. What's amazing is as you move around, it automatically pans to keep you in the shot. And that's not all. When oh, others join like it, it recognizes them too and zooms out to fit everyone into the view. So whether it's a whiteboarding session yeah, with like or a family get together, the experience of connecting thing. is now more engaging than ever. So that's the new ultra wide camera with center stage. Video calls never look so good. Now, back to Raja iPad is a magical sheet of glass that can become anything you want it to be. And the centerpiece of that experience on iPad Pro is its stunning liquid retina display, which features a long list of advanced display technologies, many that we've pioneered on iPad. We introduced it as the world's most advanced mobile display. The liquid retina display delivers nearly 4 million pixels on the 11-inch iPad Pro. Users love being able to take the most powerful iPad experience with them everywhere in a portable one pound design. On the immersive 12.9 inch iPad Pro, it delivers an enormous 5.6 million pixels. This is for those who want the biggest window for their creative workflows. And we have some exciting news here. We know that our users are increasingly creating content with the high brightness and high contrast ratio of HDR. So, we first equipped creative users with the Pro Display XDR to view and edit their content. This amazing display delivers extremely high brightness and an extremely high contrast ratio. And now, we're going to take the next big step. We're bringing the stunning front of screen performance of our Pro Display XDR to our 12.9 inch iPad Pro, so our users can take their XDR workflow wherever they go. This Jeez. is the new Liquid Red XDR expensive. display, and it delivers a thousand nits of full screen brightness, a breathtaking 1600 nits of peak brightness, and a phenomenal 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, just like Pro Display XDR. Now, due to the ultra thin design of iPad Pro compared to the Pro Display XDR, we had to take an entirely new approach to make this happen. So, to tell you all about it, here's Heidi. Extreme Dynamic Range is all about delivering a visual experience that reflects what we see in the real world. This means 
seeing the brightest highlights along with subtle details in the darkest parts of an image. Bringing the XDR experience to iPad Pro was an enormous challenge. We had to rethink how the display creates light. So we went back to the drawing board. To achieve way higher brightness, we used an array of LEDs across the entire back of the display, similar to the Pro Display XDR. And to fit within the ultra-thin iPad Pro design, these LEDs need to be incredibly small. So we developed a mini LED, which is over 120 times smaller in volume than the previous design. And because these mini LEDs are so small, achieving extremely high brightness requires lots of them, and I mean thousands of them. In fact, there are over 10,000 LEDs that deliver XDR level brightness on that stunning 12.9 inch display. That's a massive increase over the 72 LEDs that were in the previous iPad Pro. We then grouped these mini LEDs into over 2,500 local dimming zones. So depending on the content, we can precisely adjust the brightness in each zone. Okay, I'm not the result this. is an extremely high one million to one contrast ratio. The light is then shaped by a series of incredibly thin, custom designed optical films and diffusers. And that's why this display can fit into a design that's just 6.4 millimeters thin, weighs just 1.5 pounds, and still delivers all day battery life. So HDR content with the finest specular highlights like galaxies and star fields is more true to life than ever. We're thrilled to deliver the XDR experience on the new iPad Pro. Back to Raja. I'm straight up. There's never been a display that delivers this kind of visual experience on any other mobile device. So users can now do things they could never do before. Videographers have a large Good. Using LumaFusion, photographers can see even more detail when editing their images right on iPad using Lightroom. And filmmakers can more confidently review and approve HDR content with Frame.io, previewing it as it's meant to be seen from anywhere on the set. And everyone can enjoy a mobile cinematic viewing and listening experience with support for HDR video formats like HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision. I just took a shot. The advanced sound system supports Dolby Atmos as well. So this is our new 12.9 inch Liquid Retina XDR display. With this amazing set of features, it goes beyond yeah, any display in the world. And we couldn't is wait to put the new there? iPad Pro with all of its advanced new technologies no, in the no, hands no, of our shit. developers. Check out no, what no, happened no. when we did. I'm Natasha. Sahar. I'm Gao Yunzhong. You can call me Bobby. Josh. Shannon Bullock. David William Hearn. Professional Astro Geek. I'm Terry Morgan. And I'm from LumaFusion. Swing Vision. Procreate Filmic Pro. All right, Ziggy, you ready for your big shot? Divinity Original Sin 2. iPad. iPad. iPad Pro. And now the iPad Pro has the M1. How can I put this? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that head exploding emoji. Eureka. When I think of M1 on the iPad, there are truly no limits to what's possible creatively. The power that's there. It's a monster. We can do more. We can make bigger canvases and we can do way more with our brushes. Art has left the glass and it's now in a totally different realm. Processing power is insane. Audio transcription lets you put the iPad Pro on your piano and just start playing. And that'll transcribe into notation what you've just played. Pretty wild. With M1, the iPad Pro can now be your tennis coach and your line judge. It can look 100 feet across the court and determine if a ball is in or out. In. For the first time, the iPad Pro allows us to take the world's densest open world RPG and put it on a device that can really be played anywhere. We never had that before. Uh, the display is everything. It just says yes. Yes, you can see the full spectrum of color. All of that is huge to us. It kind of showcases a new level of detail with 3D that you couldn't quite see before. It's just such a beautiful big window to be able to hold up and zoom in and see whatever you want. Like you're controlling the Hubble Space That's Telescope weird. yourself. The biggest deal is really fast, direct import with Thunderbolt. I can get my large images in Photoshop on the iPad faster than ever. And once they're in there, I can just edit in real time. We're able to do things on this new iPad Pro that we've never been able to do before. To know that it's all there and just something that you're holding in your hand. 
fun. How can you not be just overwhelmingly excited about that? We are so, so, so excited. This is gonna be a big deal. You nailed it, good job. We're always amazed by the new capabilities our oh developers God, put in the hands of our users. Of course, you can't talk about iPad Pro and not talk about the phenomenal accessories that make it even more versatile and capable. Apple Pencil transforms iPad Pro into an immersive drawing canvas and the world's best note-taking device by far. And Scribble, now with support for five additional languages, allows you to write in any so you never have to put Apple Pencil away. And iPad Pro supports the thin and light smart keyboard folio. And the Magic Keyboard, with its backlit keys, integrated trackpad, and floating design. Not only is it a great typing experience, it's now also available in a gorgeous new white color. Finally, iPad Pro has been carefully designed to minimize its impact on the environment and support our overall net zero carbon goal. It uses 100% recycled aluminum for the entire enclosure and 100% recycled rare earth elements in the magnets of the speakers and enclosure. iPad Pro is also free of a long list of harmful substances. Our work here is never finished, but we're proud of the progress we've made. Even with M1 and the other incredible new technologies, the 11-inch iPad Pro still starts at just $799. And the 12.9 inch model adds the stunning Liquid Retina XDR display for just $10.99. An incredible value for such an incredible device. You can order iPad Pro starting April 30th, and it'll be available in the second half of May. We're so excited about the new iPad Pro. Check this out. T-minus 15 seconds, guide right. internal. Oh, shout out to every after like some dog of a mega dad because you know that will job. This one not from Star Wars. <laughs> Shout out Star Wars, yo. This is the new 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Both feature the breakthrough M1 chip, making each the fastest device better. of its kind. Thunderbolt for connection I'm to high good. performance accessories, Please. the ultra wide front camera with center stage, and 5G on no, cellular models for the fastest cellular connections possible. You're and in addition to all that, the 12.9-inch features a stunning on, Liquid Retina XDR display with 1,600 nits of peak brightness and a million-to-one contrast ratio. This is a display you have to see to believe. This is the most outrageously capable and versatile iPad Pro we've ever made. Mm -hmm. Back to John. Okay. In every way, this is a giant leap forward for iPad. The new mistake. iPad Pro joins the rest of our incredible lineup and pushes the iPad experience even further. iPad Pro and iMac have always delivered a best-in-class user experience, and M1 takes both to oh, the next level really with its profound impact on their ready, design ready, so and capability. Now back to Tim. What's in the jogging? What now? Next to the rainbow. What a great day of announcements. We continue our reinvention of the credit card with Apple Card Family, as well as a major redesign of Apple Podcasts. 
We announced an all new beautiful purple finish for iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. The new AirTag to help you find the important things in your life. The new Apple TV 4K and redesigned Siri remote bring the absolute best entertainment experience to your home. The incredible new iMac that completely reinvents one of the world's most iconic computers. And the new iPad Pro with the M1 chip, which is an absolute powerhouse. At Apple, we continue to be committed to making an impact in people's lives. And we can't wait to get these new products into your hands and see all of the amazing things you'll do with them. Thank you for being with us today. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day. Is that day. it? No way. Wait. No way, this is it. I'm literally waiting for the full scale and sequence. What's going on? What's done? Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Okay, okay let's put my Google Calendar. Jeez, okay. See, this is what I didn't get was the invite I got showed a much longer event. So this was the invite I got from Apple.com. Um maybe if you can't see it, wait one second. No, 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 I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so this was the event I left. Oh no, you can actually cannot see it. My bad. Move the camera. Okay, so this is the invite I got. See, April 20, 10 30 pm to 12 30 am. It's 11 30 pm and it's over. Is it different if you put it after that time? Is it still live? Yeah, what's not? Okay, so it's done because it says video replay. What scam? I thought it was going to be like for a 2 3 minute event. I cannot math, it's 2 hours, but like, yeah. Okay. This is edited because tomorrow is my friend's birthday. Uh, wish him happy birthday. I know you're watching this like that. And um, I don't know why it's watching this. Who hasn't wished him yet? So, go wish him. It's coming out on his birthday. Yeah. I'm not gonna upload it by like 20 30 minutes. Yeah, okay. Yes, I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna close that and switch the camera. Oh, uh, thanks for watching. This was very really weird. Uh, if you check my Instagram out, uh, title will go here on this video editing magic. Um, you recorded it back to my updates.
So yeah, that's it. Down to the next one, I guess. Yes. Cause something's a volume shot.